Hi, my name is Annika, and I want to talk to you about the NSLIY program, what it is, why I applied, and what I learned from doing it. If you don't already know, NSLIY stands for the National Security Language Initiative for Youth. And essentially, it is a merit scholarship given by the U.S. Department of State to study abroad in a country of your choice. The reason why I applied to this program was because I had already been learning Chinese for about nine years and I had only been learning it in elementary school three times a week, middle school and high school on the weekends. So I didn't have a lot of in-class experience and the people at home and around me can't speak fluent Chinese. So I wanted to have a more in-depth experience with the language. The application process consists of a online application that is a series of questionnaires and um, a few essays. And after you are selected for the finalist program, you have a one-on-one -on -one interview. Um, in my case, it was an online interview, but sometimes it is in person just to get to know you better. And the interviews actually don't look at your application. So it's like a completely new process again. The online program had a lot of similarities and differences from what I would have gotten in the in-person program. And I didn't mention this, but I applied to go and travel to China, but since COVID restrictions, I had to do it via Zoom. Um, it was the same and I still got the scholarship, but I couldn't actually be in China in person. And this came with some differences and a few technical difficulties but it actually turned out really great. I think one of the main differences was that I wasn't able to go out into the streets and see street signs that had Chinese letters on it or talk with locals. Instead, I was actually spending the summer in Mexico while in this scholarship program. So I went outside and was faced with a lot of Spanish. Um, and this did make it difficult to adapt to English, Spanish, and Chinese at the same time and differentiate the words and the grammar. But altogether, I still got a really good Chinese language experience out of it. When it comes to how much time I was actually spending learning um, while well, on the online program, was about two and a half hours of in-class study a day and around an hour and a half learning by myself. So one hour was spent in class with my teacher and my classmates and we were uh, learning with the textbook and speaking together and we had some warm-up assignments to talk to each other. Um, another 30 minutes of that time was with a tutoring session is what they called it, and it was with the TA and the teacher, and we would split our class into two portions and just look over our homework and practice speaking to each other. It was more like speaking based. The hour after that would be the cultural classes, and we would go through slides to learn about Chinese culture, religion, and just different aspects of China that I actually didn't know before. Along with our language classes, we also were assessed weekly. So every Wednesday, a teacher from another level, we were never assessed by our own teachers, um, but they would ask us questions about what we learned during that week's classes. And we had no preparation beforehand, and this was meant to practice for our OPI test at the very end. Speaking in class and doing the assessments weekly really helped me to speak on the spot and help me with everyday conversations. Before NSLIY, I had been learning a lot of character-based study, which means that I was learning more writing than speaking. And 
After doing this, I feel a lot more confidence just speaking on my own rather than looking at a book. Some additional activities that we did in the program was that on every Saturday we would have an additional cultural class, but it was with people and families in China. And we would learn things like growing up as an only child with the one child policy or activities in China. There was even a segment on dumpling making, which was so fun and interesting to watch. After the one hour cultural class, we would talk with students from Xiamen for about an hour. And they were about our age, so we could connect on things like school or hobbies. And this is really similar to what I'm doing here with USLA, where we can exchange perspectives with teenagers in other countries. Overall, I enjoyed every aspect of this program, and when it comes to what I learned, I can confidently say that my language abilities have improved greatly. Um, I went to an OPI score of intermediate low to intermediate mid, which is a great improvement. And I also have a better understanding of Chinese culture and the history of China. Some people have asked me if I would apply to NSLIY again, and the answer is yes. Um, last week, I actually just submitted my second application, um, and I hope to be accepted into the in-person program next year.